pulling in five, four, three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, what is up and welcome to episode number five. The to rating recap, R and R. That's gonna catch on eventually. Um today I am joined by my co host Mark Picasso. How's it going, Mark? Hey, how's it going, Gavin? Yeah, I'm doing good. Um why don't you give the people a little introduction for those who don't know who you are? All right. Wait, wait can we start over? Wait, wait. No, man, we're rolling. Dude. It's one shots, man. All right, I'll, I'll just introduce myself. All right, all right. Um, so I'm I'm Ryzen, aka Wingser, best demon hunter, NA. Um, I I destroyed our guild back in Cataclysm, back in Miss <laughs> Pandaria, back in Warlords. Not really. Oh, in, oh, yeah. Can't really say Legion because I wasn't part of that guild. But what about Wrath? Oh yeah, Wrath. Oh no, we we were raiding in Wrath. But I'm the breaker of guilds. All right, and then today we have our special guest, uh, Eugene Moniz. Eugene, why don't you hey. give them an introduction, Mister Molsteezy himself? Um, hey, hello everyone. It is Tara Kwan, uh retired? And that's about it. Is there a question mark at the end of that? Oh, retired um, question mark. <laughs> sure. Okay. Let's go with that. Right, I like where this is going. All right. So as the show goes, since you guys are all obsessed with reading recap, um, I prepared some topics and questions. Um, so this is going to be pretty much a free form uh, topic base. All right. So we'll start with the first question. Um, a lot of times we end up playing gender classes based off of like or some of us are like open to the idea of playing female classes and some of us are open to playing male classes. Do you guys concern yourselves <laughs> with that or not really? Um, I'm basically a misogynist, so I don't associate with female uh, characters unless they're blood elves because they look good. Nice. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I don't think it affects your stats at all right oh no fuck. yeah but don't you feel a little weird like since you're playing a game all day and you're just staring at a male character like yeah <laughs> yeah i think that 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 also does play a factor sometimes now what about you mark what's your what's your opinion on that <laughs> <laughs> no that was the that was the troll question we'll go on to the real question oh, yeah, I, I got it i, I got it <laughs> I got an answer for that. All right, let's hear it. No, okay, so if you're, if you're playing a female character, sometimes you might juke out the the guys playing the game, and they give you they, that gives them incentive to help you out. They 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 give you gear and like they give you free runs and everything, thinking that you're a girl in your life. Yeah. So that that's one bonus right there. Okay. <laughs> that's about it. All right. Well, that was the troll question. We'll move on to the first real topic. Um. So. We've all taken consider. You, we've all taken breaks. Um, you, you specifically, June, have taken a considerably long break. Um, what's your reasoning for taking such a hiatus? And do you ever foresee yourself coming back in the future? Um, well, I think there's a big part of life that hits you as you're growing up. You start to see the things that you enjoy, uh -huh. and. I think WoW was just one of those things that it just reminded me since I played during vanilla days of just like my childhood and stuff and I used to really enjoy playing it and then I guess I just grew out of it kind of. It just didn't really excite me as much as it used to and I kind of was just playing just to hang out with friends mm -hmm. which I think is not considerably like the right reason to play a video game. It's more of like an escape from reality or just to like have fun and there were times where I just wasn't having fun. Yeah. And I just have to like be honest with myself that it wasn't fun for me anymore. Yeah. I mean, this new expansion does look pretty interesting. I did like look at it a little bit. And the cinematic was cool. Nice. For yeah. Azeroth, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, to touch on your point, like I was listening to a seminar earlier today that talked about like motivation behind MMOs. And like a lot of it either came down to like either being a social player, a highly competitive player, or a completionist. So like I think for me, like the older you get, like obviously your goals are gonna change. And I think right now I'm at a point in my life where the social aspect is playing a huge role. Not because I don't have any friends in Arizona, but like I mean I really cherish the friends I already have on like and like I see it I see gaming as an opportunity to connect to connect with them. So what about Yeah, I mean 
Yeah. yeah. So, <clears throat> so I too played WoW since vanilla days, and I think the only reason I'm playing now is I want to see the story of like what's happening with like all the the characters that I've been playing with like ever since what ten years ago. Yeah. Because I started off with Warcraft three, the the strategy the strategy game, and then. I don't know. It feels like WoW's been, or just the Warcraft universe has been part of my my whole livelihood ever since what seventh grade, sixth grade. Uh huh. And yeah, it's pretty much just following with what's going on with the story. Like I don't mind if I don't play. Like I can just watch like videos on YouTube of like all the raids and everything. But I'd say it's more fun just being able to experience it. Like I don't mind just doing like raid finder and all of that. Everything else is a bonus, I guess. So were you like really excited when you killed Gul'dan in LFR then this past expansion? Yeah, that was fun. I think that was the only reason why I resubbed because a new raid came out and then all the wings came out. So I was like, why not? Might as well. Nice. But then, yeah, like going back with what you said about as we grow older, our incentives change. And I think pretty much like now, I'm liking how I'm able to play with like you guys since we played in Cataclysm. We'll move on to next. Oh, um, on the off topic, like, do you think there's any chance we'll ever see Davis and um, Mitch ever again, Eugene? Um, I think that Davis has been pretty busy considering that he's about to get laid. Yeah. Hitched. Nah, just... <laughs> <laughs> that guy gets laid on a daily basis. Let's go. No. <laughs> I, think, I think that's the opposite, right? If he's married. Hopefully, God. <laughs> <laughs> no, but. Yeah, he's been pretty busy, so I'm not sure exactly oh. if he's ever going to play, but I don't even know what Mitch has been up to, to be honest. Hey, that's true, man. Something about, like, working a job someplace, right? Yeah. All right. I um, think he's working, like, 10 different jobs, actually. <laughs> Last I heard, he's he works at Riot or Blizz, whichever one pays oh. more or something like that. I think it's both. <laughs> Dude, it's so chill. All right, we'll move on to the next topic. Uh, Mr. Pandaria was a pleasant surprise that would eventually set the tone for our entire group's addiction to raiding. What was your first impressions, and did you ever think it would become something that is able to continue to this day? Um, you know, the first impression that I got was um, well, pandas, which is <laughs> interesting. I thought of Kung Fu Panda, and then I was like, Kung Fu Panda is a big part of my life, personally. Yeah. Uh, no, but Jack Black. You know, I, I can see. <laughs> Ramses is the best. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, like, uh, it it was just interesting because it was one of those expansions where everyone was like, "This is so dumb," and, like, "It's so like goofy." Like, what is the point? It's not like cool at all to play a panda, and then it just turned out to be. The one where we all got together and played, and it turned out to be really fun. Yeah, so it could have been anything, right? Like it could have been, it could have been like any expansion. It just so happens to fall. Yeah, it could have been Hello Kitty Island Adventure, and I'm pretty sure we would have had fun with that because <laughs> I think that was the first time I played with you and Mark and pretty much everyone. Yeah, I was actually really surprised to see how addicted Davis became. Like it was almost like unhealthy, <laughs> but you know what? That's probably why why he's like stepping away. But and. He's, 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 yeah. What about you, Mark? What do you think about the Miss Pandaria whole concept? Because we were raiding in Cataclysm prior to. Yeah, no, I liked it. It it made me step away from my warlock and made a, uh, and I made a monk instead. Nice. <laughs> I like that scenery too. It was more peaceful than what dragons deathwing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And going back to what Eugene said, I think that's when we all just started playing together. So yeah, it's pretty much a good experience, I'd say. All right. Um, yeah, for me, Mr. Pandaria was actually like pretty interesting. Like, I never expected like fucking like I honestly wasn't even gonna play WoW like as serious as I was after, because like I don't know. I I was like Eugene. Like I felt like I like just grew out of it, and then like after like everyone was like, oh yeah, I want to play WoW like. I was like, oh shit, why not? Like, I can pull on this information. It was very interesting, <laughs> though, to like, um, 
like seeing like you davis mitch them like actually having like realizing that i do have enough friends to make like a raid group and even more than 10 so that was cool mm -hmm. yeah i also think that that was a part of my life where i kind of just realized like i don't really care what anyone else thought because there was a part of high school where i stopped playing well and it was kind of like if you played while you're a nerd or something and like you weren't part of the cool kids yeah and so it kind of affected me that way but then in college it was kind of just like no one really cares and it's just you kind of know that wow is pretty much one of the best games ever made yeah and i think people just don't admit it but it's actually the truth like yeah there's yeah. a reason why the player base like still grows to this day like maybe not as rapid as like league of legends or, or dota or something like that but like it's pretty stable mm-hmm yeah. All right. We'll move on to the next topic. That was, that was a good conversation. Um, this game is seen at times to be a stressful environment that is entirely dependent on performance. Next expansion, we want to stay away from the stressful environment and focus more on a fun or casual environment. Um, what, 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 what is your aspects of rating that makes it fun for you guys? All the jokes, all the just stupid stuff that that people do i don't know like yeah the banter the not so serious stuff i mean it's always nice to have like that incentive to kill boss and all of that but then at the end of the day if all if that's all you're gonna be doing it it's gonna get boring like someday uh-huh like i don't think i'd be playing wow if i'd be having like fun you know yeah if like, you wouldn't be having like fun that. yeah What about you, Eugene? What is like what is like your driving force? What like back in the day when you were reading? Um, yeah, I think it was a big thing to just like all get on whatever chat we were using and just kind of joke around. Yeah. Like Mark said. And yeah, we did have like some pretty good memories. And it was also cool getting like some gear and stuff, but in reality the main thing that happened was pretty much bonding and just becoming friends with people I didn't even know like David them. I didn't even know who they were in person, and I actually ended up meeting them in person afterwards, which is kind of cool. And Johnny Refria. Yeah. <laughs> no, we hey, we don't talk about that. <laughs> I remember you and Davis like flamed the hell out of him that one night, and that was freaking funny. Oh yeah. See, that's something you, you just are gonna cherish like forever because it's something that we shared. You know, it's pretty cool. Yeah. I mentioned it on an earlier episode, but do you remember that one night where, like, I was so pissed at you because you AFK'd on Chromog? Um, it was when you died, and I was like, oh, viewers, Eugene. And I was like, where the fuck's Eugene? <laughs> I, I have no comment on where I was. <laughs> no, I'm just... really? <laughs> I remember it used to be so fun, like, going over to your place after with Davis and going Taco Bell. And yeah. sometimes hanging out with Royce and like just talking about raids at school. That was sick. Um, so like this, like I, I'm not expecting you to come back, but if you do want to come back, like that'd be really cool. Um, but like, is there, like I'm planning on like, so sorry, I'm tangenting here, but I'm not really, like I can't play as much video games as I used to. And like, I do want to focus more on the social aspect. Like, what kind of videos or, like, what kind of content do you think would, like, you'd enjoy, like, just watching, like, even if you weren't playing? Um, so, so when I watch people play video games, it's usually because they make, like, funny jokes or whatever. So, in reality, I think it's just all about not trying too hard and just kind of having fun with it, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that's how a lot of really good um podcasters or youtubers get really good is they just don't really care um they're not trying too hard to like make good content they're basically just doing what they're born to do which is game and uh -huh. just have fun with it with your friends so yeah i would i would watch your stuff if it was just all about like you guys joking around and stuff yeah all right yeah. um we'll move on to the next question um hypothetically if you if either you were playing Paladin and you had your lay on hands off cooldown and you see that both me, Royce, and Davis are about to die, and the boss is in a burn phase where literally you need to save one of us in order to, in order for us to kill the boss, who would you use your lay on hands on? 
Damn, dude. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Wait, you say you, me, Royce, Royce or Davis? So pretty much, who was your best friend in college? Oh, <laughs> <Damn, laughs> <dude. laughs> uh, it'd definitely be Royce. So. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, that's a hard question. On the off chats that you guys get mad after hearing the question, it's all in good fun, man. So don't worry about it. I would kiss ass and say you, but <laughs> I think it might be Davis because he used to tweak so much, and I think he would know what to do because he watched so much fucking videos. <laughs> nah, I don't know. <laughs> what about you, Mark? Oh shit! I mean, there's only hmm. If I was a paladin, you said yeah. Yeah, if you were a paladin, and let's say you pop bubble, so that way your forbidance is on. Oh, okay. Like okay. you have forbidance. Okay. And I could only save. You can only save me, Davis, or Royce. Uh, does Royce watch this? <laughs> <laughs> man, that's hard. Bro, of course, of course, Royce watches this, man. What the hell? Okay, so so I eat lunch with Royce sometimes. I talk to you most times, Davis. We used to PvP, so. Come on, Mark. Gonna, it's gonna be rough. Come on, Mark. <clears throat> can I just bubble her away? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right, we'll move on to the next, next question. question. I would actually pick David because he would <laughs> he is the most diverse. Alright. He knows every single character. <laughs> uh the three of us tend to have the most active imagination out of out of all of our friends in the game by doing pseudo role playing with our characters. What makes this aspect of the game appealing to you and how does this enhance your gameplay? So to buffer, I remember there was a time where Eugene like was just fishing the hell out of things, and we all became fishermen, just fucking, <laughs> <laughs> just grinding fish. <laughs> yeah, you know, it was always my dream as um, a Hawaiian to become a fisherman. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, no. <laughs> to, provide, to provide my family by catching fish. Yeah. So what aspect of the role playing like? you find fun because i remember like you'd be like oh i'm i'm the tarn paladin like i'm gonna fucking go in there and like holy shock the hell out of people oh i i think oh that's an interesting question i would never thought of that <laughs> <laughs> i think it's just a part of like an escape from reality and it's being someone that you can't be i can't be a fucking giant cow like in person in real life you know so <laughs> what does that, that say was... about your mental <laughs> <laughs> Uh, At least I wasn't playing a, a girl, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, we get rid of that. I think, cut it out, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Mark? What, what, uh, what no, part of I agree, I agree with that, though. I mean, the life's pretty much just the same thing. It it's kind of mundane, you know? Like, if you go on WoW, you can be whatever you want. So, it's... It's interesting. Like I, 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 I've never played Dungeons and Dragons, but I, I think I can see the appeal of people like role playing their characters. Yeah. It adds, it adds to that experience. So rather than just you know killing bosses, even though you might not be serious, like how other people get serious about role playing, like even like small stuff like that. Uh huh. It's it, pretty funny, I'd say. Yeah, I'd say, man. <laughs> Fuck that shit's so fun though. Like. I don't know, everyone like says that I'm hella cringe whenever I do whenever I do stuff like that, but like it's so much but fun to like just I'm pretty RP. sure you know that they're laughing in the back. Yeah, they're like, oh man, Gavin like makes this so much more fun. <laughs> like guarantee that's what they say. It's like wow he's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't think the silence is <laughs> us. <laughs> I'm waiting, waiting for you guys to agree. <laughs> no. oh, man. I'm just chilling. All right, we'll move on to the next the the next topic. Um, in the world of Warcraft, if you were forced into a similar situation of Sword Art Online, where you literally have to survive in order to like live, and you had to beat the raid, what would be your strategy, and what class would you play? Hmm. You watch Sword Art Online, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, 
Team Asuna, yeah. Like, let's go. I thought you were Team Soup. Okay, <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> Digressing, you did. <laughs> Yeah, well, oh, did, you the, did you watch the movie though? Oh, okay, well, anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, the, the, the ending, okay, this is like tangent, but like the ending was so freaking like uh, fan service y, especially with the Yuki. Oh, thing. yeah. Oh, that was hype. Fucking I cry every Mother's time. Rosario, yeah. I cry every time. Anyway, <laughs> um, I think I would have to probably play Paladin, to be honest. It's just some somebody that can. Has really good survivability. Is you can protect people and you can just basically do everything that you need to do. You can deeps if you really want. <laughs> yeah, you can pretty much do anything as a paladin. So, I I'd probably be a paladin. Probably a blood elf, the girl one. This is personal preference. Go to go to Moonshire on Moonguard <laughs> <laughs> and just press uh, slash dance. And just... Get free money. Just stay in the beginner zone. <laughs> In the friendly zones. <laughs> what about Just you? ask for one gold from moves. <laughs> what about you, Mark? What would your strategy be? To survive? Yeah, uh, or what class and what, what kind of strategy would you predict? Uh, I'd play... I'd play a druid, probably. Just yeah? turn into like a... A bird and just hide away. <laughs> Hopefully no one notices. What's your strategy, Gavin? Well, what what spec would you predominantly play? Would you just go Feral, or would you just yeah, I'd go Boomkin? Feral. Yeah. Boomkin, no, Feral. I'd go Feral. All right. When I first wrote this question, I was thinking like it'd be cool to just be a rogue and like stealth and like pickpocket everybody, and, like just freaking like make your way up as a thief. But I think realistically, I'd probably choose like being a shaman, because you can onk like if you die, <laughs> like literally like as soon as you die, like you just res yourself. And like you have the power of the elements at your side, like who wouldn't want that? And shamans are dope, man. Like... All right, Eugene, since you stepped away from the game for a bit, like, what class do you think David should play next expansion? <laughs> <laughs> um, can I get a recap on which classes he has played? He's played oh, shaman, he... shadow priest. Death Knight, I think, Warrior. I think he played all the classes except for Monk. Except Monk, Hunter, and... Maybe, oh no, he played Mage. He played Mage. I believe Mark, he played are you going to be playing Hunter? Or... No, I'm staying Monk. Oh, I don't okay. want to change. Okay. Hmm. Well, given that David's talent is his diversity, I think he should choose a new class. <laughs> <laughs> should be a Hunter, I think. If you were to come back, what class would you play? Um, hmm. I know that I kind of wouldn't want to do DPS again, I think. It's just... It's too stressful min-maxing, right? Uh, maybe. I, I think it's just something that I kind of feel like it's it's cool and all, but I feel like Sometimes like your contribution isn't no notice as much as the other two, like healer or tank. Yeah, so you don't want to be a middle of the pack DPS. Like you either want to be the best or, or not even do it at all. Um, I mean, even if I was a healer, I couldn't beat Jonah, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At least it's you just know the it. Truth. <laughs> it's just the honest truth. It's like, oh, I gotta compete with Jonah, or I gotta compete with Mark. Like, oh, I might as well compete with Gavin. Like, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no but yeah i'm not sure i've never played the tank role so it'd be cool to try something different if i did come back yeah you'd be surprised how much people love you for playing tank all right i already hate you because you're trash but yeah <laughs> yeah all right we'll move on to the last question um realistically we only play for about eight eight months per expansion um what are your main reasons we be you believe that as a group we burn out and do you think there's any preventative measures that we can take? Um, I think it really just depends on the person because you know that there's people like Davis and you guys that will continue to play after everybody just burns out. Yeah. I mean, mostly the Davis played PvP, but in terms of keeping it going, I think it's just to make sure that you don't push people too hard. 
And I, I know that it's it's a moderation thing because you don't want to just do it where you don't progress at all. Mm -hmm. And I think we had that issue with mop kind of because yeah. we kind of didn't push it as hard as we did for warlords. Yeah, warlords, we fucking got shit done, and then when we yeah. hit that brick wall, like we hit that shit hard, and that's basically what happened. Yeah, I also think that it was mostly because a lot of people got stressed out about it. So I think that it was like two extremes almost, where for MOP we were kind of just too lax since we were so like, there was a lot of newcomers and a lot of people that really didn't play for a while, yeah. like me. And then there was, yeah, and then the opposite end of the spectrum was Warlords where we all knew what we needed to do and we would go in, go out. I think we were doing three days a week or something. I don't remember. Uh, I think but, we were always at two days, but I know what you oh, mean. Yeah. Like, we were all just a lot more knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. um, in my opinion, I think that we tend to burn out due to, um, like, setting our expectations too high. Like, it's always mm -hmm. the push for Mythic or, like, the push for, like, a harder content. Where, like, yeah, it's just like never being satisfied, right? Yeah, yeah, like when we expand to that group of 20, because we're currently we're at a group of like nine right now, not including um, the people on the fence, such as your, such as Eugene or like Davis, which I'm pretty sure both of you are going to come back. No, I'm just joking. Um, <laughs> right, Davis, just fucking come back. No. <laughs> um, yeah, when we expand to that group of 20, like handling that variable of the 11 other players just makes it too hard and like too much things to keep up with. But I think as a group of nine, like as long as the core outnumbers the, the amount of people we recruit, like we're always going to be fine. And yeah, like there are players, like I think the most volatile players who tend to lose interest is myself and maybe Kevin Mashida. But I mean, as long as as long as we keep progressing in a way, or everyone keeps pushing, like my expectations are pretty low. Like are pretty like I think every expansion I always go in with really high expectations, and this current expansion I'm going in with really low expectations. But part of that is because I need to rebuild everyone's trust for destroying the trust in Legion. <laughs> but that's a t that's a topic for another story. I mean, that's a time for another story. So. Yeah. All right. Uh, Mark, what are your opinions on why we burn out and all that? I think we talked about this before, but, no, but this it's for the pretty viewers, much, man. It's pretty much just we get, we get bored. I mean, we get bored of just doing the same thing over and over. I think going back to the point of just having fun, like making jokes, just cracking up. I think that's what gets us to stay. Uh huh. But. Without that, like that's what happened for uh, Legion, where we didn't even raid out as a group, so we didn't have that that fun kind of experience. It was more so just get down to business, do whatever was needed for that raid on that day. So I think that's why I got bored of it. Yeah, how how was the raiding environment in Legion? I mean, I only <clears> came <throat> with you guys that one time, but how was it? In your uh, opinion? not as fun as the previous expansions. Are you saying that I deliver a lot of fun, or what are you trying to get at here, Mark? <laughs> just, just give it to me straight. Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Nice. Partly, partly, but it's like a group effort of, <laughs> of who delivers fun and all that. Yeah. But it would be nice to have like everyone reading together. Yeah, I think I think that's what the goal is that we're gonna push for next expansion. So. Yeah. Um, well, that's the end of the topics. Um, so usually at the end of the show, I let you ask me any questions or any, like basically anything. So shoot off. If uh, do you have any topics that you want to talk about, Eugene? Um. So I guess it comes with uh, balancing your gaming with your personal life because I know that we haven't really talked in a while, Gavin. So. How hey, I text everybody at least once a month, and it's up to them to text me back. <laughs> uh, well, if you text me before I go to work, so yeah, dude, that's at like it five happens. o'clock all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, how do you plan to balance that? Because I know that real life yeah. has hit pretty much all of us, and I feel like that was a 
kind of an issue with Legion. Like, I know that for me, I I didn't play as much because I was just doing so much mm -hmm. real life things. <clears throat> I and think it sucked, but yeah. I think if you look at gaming as a chore, then like it's not worth it. But if if you value if if you can find like you mentioned it earlier like we talked about motivation earlier and like if you can find the right motives and if it's important enough for you you're gonna make time for it like or it sucks when you think of it like oh i'm making time for it because then it, it sort of turns into like oh yeah it's like a chore almost mm -hmm. or, or like i'm not doing this for fun i'm doing this for like <laughs> just because like just because everyone else is doing it so it's up mm -hmm. to i mean it's it's mainly like it's, yeah, it's mainly just finding, like, realizing that, like, is this important enough for me? Like, same same thing could be said about, like, working out or going to the gym, right? Like, if it's important enough, you'll go. But if not, it's like, ah, I'll just skip today. Like, it's just leg day, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Plus, like, I mean, what... Like, ideally, like, I can't push people to play a video game. Like, I can't be the, the sole reason why they play the video game. Because if it, if it does come to that which it has in the past like for Mr. Pandaria and all that like it eventually just turns into resentment and like a lot of like really shitty situations like man I like I don't even want to play anymore like what am I doing logging on just just because fucking Gavin asked me to you know yeah <clears throat> but as for my personal balance um I mean I always I don't know how, how your guys relationships are like in life like not even with like girlfriends or anything but like I always discuss with my girlfriend like, "Hey, I'm gonna be playing video games from like five to six, or five to like nine, or something like that." And like, mm -hmm. I always make sure I set aside enough time and that I'm like fair to her. Like, we'll go out for dinner that night or something like that, or at least make sure that the quality of the time is there and not the quantity. And like, <clears throat> especially like, also I mentioned this last episode. Shameless plug, by the way. Um, but I always try to give myself small goals to do in World of Warcraft, such as like doing a daily heroic or um, I don't know, like crafting, like getting enough crafting materials for pots for the next um, raid raid week. Because mm -hmm. you're not gonna make a big change in one day. You're gonna make a bunch of little changes that are gonna eventually lead to a big change. So. I mean, when you think of it like as small increments, like if I spend 30 minutes before work or like bef or after work just to log on to just do something simple, and like that's enough to maintain your character for the next raid day, like I think that's really cool. But it's about, mm -hmm. but it's about deciding how competitive you want to be and like if you're not ready, because so like Mark's on the extreme spectrum where he'll play like what Mark like. Five hours a day, roughly. Like when we when we're actually like going at it. Yeah, but that was when I didn't have work. Yeah, I don't no. know how I'm gonna be able to balance everything like now. I know. Well. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, Mark. But that was before. Yeah. Well, Mark's a player that wants to go for min maxing. Like he wants to push his character to the very limits. You know, like he wants mm -hmm. to be on the top. But like, if you're content with not being on the top, and like, as long as you're, as long as you're. As long as you're pretty much above the bar for like being able to actually come to the raid, like I think it's fine. Like I think, I think eventually, like the the people that try super hard are gonna eventually gear out the others, and then when we actually go to kill heroic bosses, like we'll be able to carry, and it's not like a huge deal about how much time you invest. It's more about like maintaining your character. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, that was like the long-winded answer, but I hope I, I hope you got an answer out of that. That was a good answer. Yeah, yeah that's a good answer. Yeah, Mark, how do you feel about um, <clears throat> balancing gaming and? Um... Uh, that were, I mean, for me, like before back in uh, Legion, it was pretty easy. I didn't have to. I didn't have much responsibility. I just finished college. I didn't have work. I didn't have anything actually. So it was just wake up, do my own thing, do my dailies for a while. And then eventually I just go work out or something. And that was my day pretty much. I didn't have like some sort of like nine to five job I have to go to. Mm -hmm. But compared to now, it's gonna be a lot harder. I didn't realize how, how much like work actually takes out of you. So that's gonna be a different story. Like once 
the next expansion hit. It's like I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I know for sure I'm not gonna be able to min min, min max as much as I did for Legion. Nah, Mark, just be like, you know, what? I'm good enough. <laughs> I'm the monk. Like y'all better, y'all better just not even try it because I'm gonna be top. <laughs> I wish, man. <laughs> nah, I um, think, yeah. Yeah, like work like, like gaming and balance is very tough. But that's why I always talk about like going into this next expansion, I do want to set like I want to get an understanding of what everyone's expectation is, at least with the core. And it seems like a majority of the con the majority of the expectation is to at least full clear heroic, which I think that realistically with our group and since we're majority competent readers, actually we're all competent readers at this point. Um, including David, um, we're gonna like we're eventually we're gonna clear the the full clear heroic at least probably two weeks. Like it'll just be a matter of time rather than like <laughs> grinding out dungeons every day and all that. So yeah. I think as long as we set that goal, like this heroic as a minimum, I think our problem is we set too much of a standard where we want to clear mythics. We want to be top of the server and all that yeah um i've been playing around with this idea in my head but like how do you how would you feel like if we did clear a heroic and then we took a break until the next um raid tier i'm i'm fine with that yeah like i'm, I'm still gonna be sub like just doing small stuff but i wouldn't mind just going yeah or like swapping down to like a one one raid day week rather than a two raid day week yeah, I think I'd rather have that. Yeah, I think that would be really sick. <laughs> what about you, Eugene? Does that like? I mean, I'm like I said, I'm not expecting you to play or anything like that. But like, what's your opinion on something like that? I'm sorry, I forgot the question. <laughs> like, um, like if we did full clear a heroic raid, right? And yeah. like, instead of pushing for a mythic, we we just take a break. Oh yeah, I think it'd be cool. You know, uh, I think another big thing that. Um, at least I enjoyed when I play WoW, since there's so much to freaking do, since it's open world and all that stuff, is kind of just hanging out with people and even going back and, like, getting... I don't know if you can still transmog. I'm yeah, pretty you sure can. you can still transmog. Um, just getting transmog gear and just doing weird stuff like that. Just doing, like, all the optional stuff. I mean, like, it should just be optional, obviously, but It'd be yeah. cool to just do, and yeah, I think doing a, giving a break for people might make a big difference. Yeah, like yeah. how much of a difference do you think it'll make? Like, cause I know, like a lot of us, we don't want to be the hardcores anymore. Like, we don't want to be pushing like fucking twelve-hour raid weeks and all that. You know, mm -hmm. like a lot of us, we just we just miss hanging out with friends and we just want to see content. Yeah. Yeah, so that's I think that's why it's a big thing to just not push to be the like Mark yes. said the top of the server or whatever. It's to me that never really mattered, yeah. and it felt like a lot of pressure. I can tell, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take it easy. <laughs> Almost easy. No. It was Tyro Khan that wanted to be the best. <laughs> yeah, I never I never let him go to his full potential, but. Uh, yeah, sorry to interject, but yeah, you're saying. Yeah, no, yeah, I mean, it's just. Like, I think mm -hmm. people want different things, and at the time, it was, for me, it's it almost always was about just hanging out with people and just having fun, which I think, honestly, if it went if it went back to that, <clears throat> I would I would probably try to go back yeah yeah well, that's cool uh do you have any other topics or you're all talked out um are there any other games that you ever play uh i mean i'm Sorry. just playing league of legends but i've turned into like such a toxic person now because of that game because no one fucking plays any like Oh, sorry for cussing, but yeah, no one play like out of all out of our friend circle. Like they they only play ARAM. Like they don't play mm -hmm. any of the competitive stuff. So like, frick, like even the normal people, the normal hardcore people that I used to talk to from college and all that, they don't play anymore. So I'm literally like just flaming myself, like grinding away at it. And I I want to hit freaking diamond, but I'm freaking stuck. But oh yeah, you know what? That's the game, dude. That's that's what I gotta live with. The world of Warcraft that you play. Yeah, that's the world of Warcraft <laughs> that I play. 
<laughs> oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> How cool is it? <laughs> I don't know. I I, I heard that uh, a lot of the toxic players moved to Overwatch. So <laughs> yeah. no, no, for real, they yeah. actually did. You know, I suck, <laughs> I suck at Overwatch. Frick. That's okay. Yeah. Nice. Uh, well, thanks for coming on, Eugene. I really appreciate you taking the time out. Like you were one of the guests that I was really hoping to get. Um, next yeah, week, no next week we'll talk. We'll hope we'll either be talking about raid leading and group dynamics, or we're gonna talk about something else. So we'll catch you on next one. Peace. Oh wait, Eugene. If they want if the people want to find you, where can they find you at? Um. Well, right now I'm actually playing Monster Hunter World. Nice. On PlayStation, but are you getting that cut coup? They don't even have it in here. I'm pissed. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um. I don't know. Just follow me on Instagram. <laughs> 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 Shameless plug. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Peace.